Welcome to this Tutor to You topic video that looks at sustainable water management. This is part of Paper 2, Unit C, The Challenge of Resource Management. Sustainable water management is all about trying to reach a balance between water consumption, which is what we use, and water supply, which is what's available to us, and maintaining this balance long term so we're not harming the ability of future generations to meet their water needs. To achieve this, we need to use water more efficiently and we need to minimise what we waste. Currently, one fifth of water in the UK is wasted through leaky pipes. One important part of sustainable water supplies is groundwater management. Groundwater is the water stored in porous rocks below the Earth's surface in aquifers. But this source of water is often heavily polluted or over abstracted to the point that it can't recharge effectively. Groundwater management is all about preventing these two issues. The Environment Agency monitors water quality in the UK and they can take action against those who pollute groundwater sources to prevent them from discharging water into waterways, which will reduce the risk of future contamination of groundwater. If local aquifers do start to dry up, then the amount of permitted pumping can be reduced, enabling time for the water level to recharge or the groundwater could be topped up with reclaimed water, which is also known as recycled water, or grey water from sinks, baths, showers and washing machines. Water conservation plays a really important role in sustainable water management, and there are lots of ways that we can conserve the amount of water that we use to increase our water security. Let's start off by thinking about how we can reduce domestic use. We can install water efficient appliances such as washing machines and dishwashers and only use them when they're full. We can have showers instead of baths and use low flow shower heads and we can also install twin flush toilet systems which use a much smaller amount of water. We can make sure that we don't leave taps running for example when brushing our teeth or washing fruit and vegetables and we can collect rainwater in a water butt in the garden, which we can then use for watering plants and washing cars. But investment into water infrastructure is also very important. Every day, 20% of water in the UK is lost through leaking pipes, such as a burst water main in the image on screen. This is around 3.3 billion litres of water, which would meet the needs of a third of the UK population. In February 2024, water companies announced that they were going to invest more than £14.4 billion between 2024 and 2025 on infrastructure improvements, including the construction of 10 new reservoirs, increasing the capacity of dozens of wastewater treatment works, which will increase the capacity to treat sewage, and repairing or replacing more than 2,000 kilometres of pipes. This investment should reduce the amount of water wasted and increase water security in the UK. However, it is slightly controversial as the water companies will be increasing customer bills in order to fund these upgrades, despite recording record profits this year. Another thing that we need to do to conserve water is to improve the efficiency of the irrigation systems that we use. Irrigation accounts for around 69% of water use around the globe, but it does use water inefficiently, often through a canal network where much of the water is lost through evaporation. In this situation, low pressure pipes would actually transport water much better. It also relies heavily on large sprinkler systems, such as the one pictured on the screen. These don't always spray water where it is most needed, and again, lose water due to evaporation. Instead, drip irrigation systems would be much more effective as they spray water directly onto the roots where it is needed most. When evaporation occurs, it increases the risk of salinisation when salt crusts build up on the soil. This can harm crops. Irrigation systems are also often automatic, so this can add water to crops when it is not actually needed, for example after heavy rainfall. Therefore, it can cause the ground to become waterlogged. Reducing water pollution is also an important part of conservation. The Environment Agency is in charge of managing water quality across the UK. It regularly monitors river water quality and when needed it will remove sediment through a filtration process 
or it will add chloride to purify water. It also has strict regulations on water use, including restrictions on recreational use of water sources. So, for example, no powerboats on certain reservoirs. And it can impose fines on those who pollute water sources. A good example of this is the Southern Water Sewage Scandal, where in 2021, Southern Water was fined £90 million for repeatedly and deliberately dumping raw sewage. Between 2010 and 2015, it unleashed around 21 billion litres of untreated sewage into local waterways, and it is continuing to discharge waste today. By reducing water pollution, there will be more water that is safe to use, and therefore our water security will increase. And the last thing that we are going to discuss in this video is water conservation through reusing water. There are two types of the first is reclaimed or recycled water. This is treating and reusing domestic or industrial wastewater to irrigate crops, to use in industrial processes such as cooling in power stations, to top up rivers and groundwater sources, and for drinking. Reclaimed water has all of its impurities removed, so it is perfectly safe. And it is much better to reuse the water rather than just to discharge it into rivers and seas. The second is grey water. This is water that has been used for bathing, showering, washing up, as well as using washing machines and dishwashers. It can be reused to water the garden or flush the toilet. The water contains traces of household cleaning products, toiletries, dirt, hair, food and grease. And if used within a day, these provide valuable fertilisers for watering plants. But if left to sit in a storage tank, this water quickly becomes stagnant and high levels of bacteria build up. So therefore, grey water systems are not widely used, although they are more common in LICs. For example, 70% of water used for irrigation in Jordan comes from grey water. That concludes this Tutor to You topic video focusing on sustainable water management. Thank you for watching.